seemed like you were sparked by your defense. Uh, can you just talk about the energy level from the get-go? Yeah, we wanted to get back to kind of what we were doing so well, you know, a couple of weeks ago and, you know, defensive intensity and and just um, coming out with that fire. And I think we really did that for some, you know, I think 20 turnovers first half. That means we were on point defensively. We um, weren't able to convert at all times, but um, but definitely, I think, really, really good job trapping their ball handlers and forcing them to be uncomfortable. And they had a really tough time getting into their sets. And then Trinity was pretty uh, phenomenal tonight. She got off to, uh, I believe, seven out of the first nine points. Uh, she just seemed to play with a different motor out there today. Yeah, she did. Um, you know, she said, she, I said, Co I said, what did you eat, Trinity? She said, coach, I'm not trying to go home. So this is Trinity's first Pac-12 tournament. Um, she was phenomenal. Um, she, we, she, you know, she, we got on her back and went going. I thought she did everything, hitting threes, rebounding, brought us muscle and size inside. Um, and, you know, what I thought she did a really good job was, was denying. I mean, she had six deals. So phenomenal performance by her. Um, one of the reasons why we won. I think uh, other people stepped up today, and that's what we needed. Ryan Kellopier, go ahead. I can't hear anything, Ryan. There. Um, so what did you think about the way your team played offensively? I mean, I know it's been kind of a struggle recently, but you got – Ari had a, a really good game distributing, and you got some uh, scoring from a lot of different players today. I was impressed. I thought I thought early – I didn't like our three-point selection. I thought taking step-back threes early when we didn't need to, I, I didn't like that. But I like the, favor, the fact that we're 42% from the field. Um, I, you know, I'll live with this. I didn't love their offensive rebounding, but I think besides that, I think our offense was good. Different people stepped up. We had three people in double digits in scoring, and Ari, um, she didn't need to score 20 today. If you look in the past, if Ari didn't score 20, we'd lose. But, I mean, to have 13 points and nine assists, um, you know, I, that's phenomenal. And three steals, I, I thought Ari played a really good game. And it was low scoring in the first half, but Lauren came in and did her part. Um, Sam hit shots when she needed to. I thought this was just a really, really good team performance. And I saw that uh, you, you put Mara in the game pretty early. What was the thought process behind that? Um, I know that we're going to need um, to go deeper in our bench. And I, I have confidence in Mara. I thought Mara's had a really good week. Um, she's a good defender. Um, she gives a size. She can shoot the ball. So I thought putting her in early to give her some experience because I think we can need her and um, that we need her. Um, also, Maddie, I think Maddie gives us another shooter. She helps us spread the floor when we have other good ball handlers. And I thought Maddie came in and, and did a good job. She's fearless. And she's going to stretch the floor. So giving them experience to me was essential um, going down the stretch. Michelle Smith, go ahead. Hey, Adia, do you think that um, if there's a decent chance that defense might win this championship for somebody? I mean, if you look at the three teams that are in the semis, and, you know, we don't know how the sports game's going to come out yet, but every one of these three teams plays really solid defense in their own way. Do you see, like, that this championship could win on a great defensive performance? Um, I think defense can be a factor, um, you know, but I think that you got to be able to defend, you got to play great defense and you got to be able to convert. I think defense will be a staple. I think UCLA, you look at, you know, Stanford plays great defense. Um but I think that you have to be able to hit shots. I, I think, especially when you're when you're meeting like another good defensive team, you got to be able to convert. I thought um, we turned them over a lot, especially in the first half. But then at times we weren't able to to convert. So you got to be able to score. I mean, that's the the name of it. But the defense, I think, for us, um, you know, we're not going to be a. 45 percent three-point shooting team that's not our identity but we're going to defend so i think for us hitting the shots getting the shots that we want it doesn't have to be threes um getting the shots how we want them off of our defense it, it creates easy scoring opportunities for us so po potentially it could be i get if the defense is better than the offense right <laughs> um it can <laughs> but i think you still have to hit shots and you got to be able to convert thank you willie ramirez go ahead 
Hey, the, if we can go back to uh, you were talking about, you were talking about um, getting getting your players in early, getting some minutes. Uh, in the previous game, Tara had sort of said the same thing. How how it's a precious commodity, uh, sharing the wealth of, among, in terms of the minutes played because of the bracket, this type of season that you that everybody's endured, uh, and that going deeper on the bench and getting everybody out there as soon as possible. I think he had eight players in double digit minutes tonight. Um, do you, is that? Did you come in with the mindset of, of making sure that you were able to get deep on the bench and make sure everybody's good, so that way also your starters got some fresh legs? Uh, yeah, so we for sure wanted to play deep into the bench. Uh, we don't we don't need to play in the first game. Airy thirty eight minutes, Sam thirty eight minutes. You know, I I I really didn't want to play even Airy thirty one or. Um, or Sam 32, I wanted to keep them a little bit under 30, but then, you know, with Washington state, they're such good offensive players and they have great shooters, but a 10, 15 point lead is not enough for them. And at a, at, at some point in the fourth quarter, we, um, got really sloppy, started turning the ball over offensive rebounds. That's why I put the starters in for another second, because three minutes is a lot of time. Um, then I took them out and, but, um, yeah, I think that resting people, not having them play 40. And it's a challenge because Washington State, their main players played 40 minutes yesterday. So it's a lot. Um, I think that, you know, that did affect them. Um, so, you know, I, I think for us, this is low minutes. Um, we got to be prepared to play multiple games. Um, so I think this was this was a good, um, it was good for us not playing, you know, 38, 40 minutes. PJ Brown, go ahead. Hi, Adia. Um, uh, there was a story that came out from ESPN recently that called Trinity one of the kind of unsung heroes of that she could be going into this postseason. Do you see that? And, and did you really expect, I, I know that she has her moments. Did you expect her to go all out today and and have this type of performance? I did. Um, I did expect her to have a presence. I expected her to be aggressive. I mean, she wants to win. So if, if I tell Trinity, you're not going to shoot, you're just going to set screens and rebounds, she will do whatever it takes to win. She's selfless, and that's just, just who she is. If she wouldn't have been hitting her shots, she would have been trying to set great screens and do other things. But she had it going. I love the fact that her teammates found her and looked for her and um, I'm not surprised. I'm actually really impressed and I'm happy because I think she can do this every game. And I like the fact that Kate and the guards, you know, Sam, Ari, Bendu were looking for her, feeding her, um, you know, helping exploit the mismatches. So, uh, you know, I always say if someone's hot, get them the ball, um, feed the hot hand. And and I think we did that today with her and, and I'm proud of us because we were just trying to do whatever it takes to win. And your defense today, um, you know, you started out strong and then it really picked up in the next two quarters as you held them to five points each quarter. Um, what, you know, I know that you were talking about how this this week, you know, you had you, they they were hungrier and they and you felt that from them. What was it that they sort of were able to kick it up a notch? Um, even though they were playing Arizona defense already? Um, I think for us, it was a, you know, it stung. Um, but losing to ASU last week, it was, it stung. Um, I, we didn't play well. Um, ASU played really good. They were focused. So I think that was a good reality check for us. And how were we going to respond and bounce back? Um, so I said it before, I, I'm kind of glad we lost them versus losing now. Um, not a loss I wanted, but I think it, it was a learning lesson to see, to, to show that you can't overlook anybody. You can't not come in intense. You can't get on your heels right away to be in the games like ASU made us do. Um, so wanted to come out with that sense of urgency, that dog mentality. And I think we did that. Um, it wasn't a perfect game for us, but I thought defensively, I thought we were pretty solid. We made mistakes like we're going to, but we had passion plays. We had hustle. Um, we fought. And, you know, I, I'm just proud of how we responded after the game because we could have kind of just said, OK, we're not playing well, I'll do it. But I thought they responded well and different people stepped up. And so I'm proud of our performance and proud you know, that we're not going home. Javier Morales, go ahead. Hey, hey, Adia. Um, uh, Ari, nine assists, only three turnovers. Uh, you know, she could she had some trouble scoring, but 
she made up for that with the way she distributed. Is this one of her better games where you saw her as a facilitator? It is. I thought some of those three, I didn't like the, the um, some of the three she set up for, but they were in and out. And I think the step back threes, I would have probably changed a couple of those. And, and she knew it, but they felt good. So, you know, I'll live with that with her. I trust her. But I thought um, she played a phenomenal game. Um, I thought she set up her teammates. I thought she called the right things. I thought she uh, put people in good situations to score. I mean, almost a double-double. If you would have, a month ago, we couldn't have won if Aries scored 13 points. But different people stepped up, and that's what it is. That's what it's about this time of year. So I'm proud of her. A plus six assisted turnover ratio um, and three steals and five, five rebounds. I think that's a great stat line. She played a really good game. You don't have to score 20 to impact the game and make a difference and help us win. And she did that today tonight. And can, can you please uh, comment on uh, Maddie Connor coming in and stroking that three pointer? Well, if you guys would have seen Maddie in practice the last couple of days, I, she was just doing that. I mean, she was, we had her playing at some points in the game, Legger Walker. And um, she was just shooting like Legger Walker does um, and hitting threes and just, I mean, killing it the last couple of days. So she's still learning our system. She still has ways to go, but she wants it. She's hungry. Um, she puts in the work. She's a gym rat. So I knew down the stretch she'd be able to help us. So I'm so glad she hit that three. The other one was kind of in and out. But she's a shooter. She'll bring us more, um, you know, offense on the perimeter. You have to guard her. And so, um, you know, I'm impressed with the way she played. All right, we have two more. Troy Hutchison, you're up first, followed by Willie Ramirez. So, Troy, go ahead. So, Coach, uh, what was the message at halftime? You guys were up by, I believe, eight, and you guys forced 22 turnovers or 21 turnovers. What did you guys talk about in the locker room during that break? The up eight is nothing. Um, you know, play it like it's zero, zero second half. They're a really good team. They can score in bunches. Um, they score fast. They're good. We know they usually have big third quarters. And I told them to remember what happened at Washington State. We were up by 19, lost the lead, and then ended up losing in overtime. So, we don't want to repeat history, uh, go back and how we started the game, that same intensity. And um, I think we did that. But another thing I want to point out, Helena Pueyo, she wasn't shooting the ball today. Okay, it wasn't her night to shoot, but six rebounds, five steals, and one turnover, one block. That's a phenomenal stat line. That is a plus 23 efficiency, and that's a way to help your team without scoring. So all those little things matter. Um, but, yeah, at halftime, um, an eight-point lead against Washington State is not enough. They're a really good team. And then defensively, you guys did a great job against the Lager Walker Twins. Uh, last game that you just mentioned, the game in Pullman, uh, they dropped 31 points on you guys today. They scored 22 and shot 22% from the field. When in, what went into that defensive effort? Well, I mean, them forcing them for 6 of 27, that's the defense we wanted. Um, you know, those sisters are really good. Um, you know, Crystal is so experienced. Um, she runs the team. So I think we, we gave her, put a lot of pressure on her, but we had to, we had to turn her over and put pressure on her to, you know, kind of try to take her out of the game. Every game against us, she hits these, these threes. It's like at the end of the shot clock, it's, you know, I don't know. It's just hard. I don't know how she makes those. She's a, such a good player. She's so smart. And then um, Charlize is just a scorer. We wanted to make sure as a team, we made her work. I thought we did a really good job against her. I mean, it forced her two for 17, one for four from the three. But that's what we wanted. And we knew we had to do that to win the game. So I thought great team effort against her um, because she's a good player and she, she demands that. Um, so very good um, by our defense and forcing her to be uncomfortable because she's that good, but we had to throw different things at her. All right, we'll wrap it up with really, Willie Ramirez. Hi again, Adia. So a, uh, an Arizona women's basketball trip to Las Vegas would not be the same unless I asked about Sam Thomas, of course. Um, and you just mentioned how players don't need to score 20 to have an impact. Sam had seven points, but she did so much of the blue collar work, the grinding work, the dirty work. She was on the floor. She gets her hands in people's faces. She's rebounding. She does so much. Can you just talk about the impact that she continues to have and just what it's been like to, you know, to continue to see her thrive and, and, and do all the things that, that need to be done so yeah. the score the stars can do their job it's almost it's very difficult to um take sam off the floor sam is consistently doing these things um you know i, I wish we would have got her more than four shots but she plays a one two three four five um she rebounds she always guards the best player um she takes care of the ball she runs great offense 
um, she's consistent. So having her and Ari off the floor at the same time is hard. Um, but Sam, she's, she does that every day. So she never doesn't do that. And when she's scoring, it's even a plus for us, but she plays phenomenal defense. She talks, she's um, a leader on the floor. So all those things make her so valuable. Um, and, you know, it was, it was just, it was out today that she's a scholar athlete of the year. So that's phenomenal too, because she does it on the court, off the court. She's just a player that um, I wish I can clone and have some more of her. And I wish I could keep a player like her every single year for my whole career. But um, she's a great, she's a great teammate. She's a great leader. Um, and she's just a great basketball player. All right, that's it, coach. Thank you. Thank you.